Shivani, thanks for tuning back into my channel Canada with Shivani. Today I'll be showing you the entire process that I went through on my vaccination day. It was a seamless and effortless process. So keep watching the video till the end to see it yourself. So let's begin with the video. All right, I'll be talking about Ontario. I have no experience about other provinces, but the process should be likewise. So the vaccines in Ontario are available at hospitals, pop-up clinics, or at pharmacies. So to book your appointment, you need to get on your mobile phone or your computer, whatever is available to you or is convenient. Get on this website, it should be on your screen, or you can simply just Google COVID-19 vaccine Ontario. It will take you to the Government of Ontario website, and then there you just have to provide your postal code and your year of birth to assess your eligibility. Now select the type of health card you have. In case of international students, do not worry. You are still eligible even if you don't have the health card. So just say no health card. For those people who have the health card, you will get two options. Option A, uh, to book your vaccine through the provincial online booking system and option B, from your nearest pharmacy. So in case of international students here, you will get two options. Option A, your regional health unit and option B, your nearest pharmacy. If you're going with option A, you need to contact your regional health unit with the provided contact number and then they'll take your unnecessary information such as your full name, your date of birth, your contact number, your address and your email address. So once they collect all your necessary information, then they're going to take around 5 to 7 days to get back to you and then you'll be able to book your vaccine appointment call you after five to seven days you just have to verify your necessary information on the phone call with them and once you do that they will give you the available time slot and you can choose your preferred time and date according to your preference as soon as it is done you will get your confirmation email and in the email you'll get to see all your necessary information regarding a vaccine appointment so now if you're wondering about your second dose of the vaccination don't worry they will automatically book you in according to the waiting list even if you want to reschedule or cancel your appointment, you can do so. You will have a confirmation ID in your email. So just contact your regional health unit and they will do it for you. Option B, to get your vaccine through the participating pharmacies. So get back on the website, choose the option B, that is your participating pharmacies and provide your postal code. And this will give you all the nearest pharmacies and you can select whatever is convenient to you. Beside these two options, you can always go to pop-up clinics, but be ready to spend quite a bit of time in the waiting line. So guys, that was the process. It was quick and simple. Now let me show you my vaccination experience. No. Have you received any vaccination in the last two weeks? No. 
Is it okay to give it to you on the left arm? Yes. Okay. Are you doing the right side? I'm sure. I'm excited. Yeah. You are right. <laughs> so all the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this. All right, let's do it. For a good day to come. Oh, it felt nothing. That was so quick. Wow. So you have received your vaccine yes. at 1.41. Okay. So four minutes to the hour, mm -hmm. you are able to check. Okay. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. you go and sit in one of the seats okay. for 15 minutes. If you try to get a vent early, they catch you. Okay. <laughs> I will not cheat. <laughs> Did I get any side effects? The answer to this question is no, I did not get any side effect. Although my arm, the, the arm that I got the vaccination on was a little bit sore for a day, but I feel like that's pretty much normal because you know, even if we get the tetanus shot, we might get fever or sore arm. So I feel that's, that's not a big deal, but I will suggest you to keep your arm relaxed. Uh, that really helped me and other than that I feel like I was a little bit lethargic but not anything like I'm going to die so I think that was pretty fine with me so the second big question does it hurt no it does not hurt guys trust me you won't even feel it so the third question what is the cost of the vaccine so in Canada the vaccine is free of cost for everyone so guys these were the th top three questions that I could think of if you have any other questions regarding the vaccination let me know in the comment sections below and I will answer them for you if I have to give you a quick tip I would simply say get your routine done or get the necessary things done before going for the vaccine appointment or I would say especially do your cooking for the next three meals just in case if you see any side effects you will have your comfort food with you so guys that was it for the video please like the video and share it as much as possible because it is a very important step to fight against covid 19 and let us all do our parts and also let me know in the comment section below if you like the video and if you find it helpful and also please let me know if you got the vaccination already till next time take care stay safe and bye